How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going around. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This next eerie piece of footage was uploaded to Reddit by user RegularJoe500. It's a clip taken from their home security system facing their carport. Take a look at what's been causing a stir on Reddit. As you can see, out of nowhere, a white horse appears. It trots from right to left. Now at first, this might seem fairly mundane. However, the Redditor says that a horse died in the pastures next to his house just a few years ago. And when this footage was captured, there were no animals whatsoever in the paddock. They also noted that the horse that died was black, yet the horse we see here is clearly white. While this could simply be a real life white horse, it just seems strange that it would trot by in the middle of the night. When the OP saw the footage, they double checked the property and there were no animals either in the paddock or anywhere nearby. They even looked for hoof prints but found no evidence of anything walking through the yard. Considering that a horse did recently die in the nearby pastures, many commenters speculated they were actually seeing its spirit caught on camera. So what do you make of this eerie equine? Share your theories with the community in the comment section down below. This next video was uploaded to TikTok by user Monique Hernandez. The clip is taken from a home security camera positioned at the front of the TikToker's house. They asked their viewers for an explanation, posing the question, is this a ghost caught on my ring camera? Take a look at what's been captured. The caption reads, why can you see the truck through him? Which is a valid question. If we watch it again, zoomed in and slowed down, you can indeed see details of the truck as the figure walks by. Furthermore, it almost looks like the figure appears out of thin air at the beginning of the clip. A lot of strange sightings captured by home security cameras can be explained by poor compression rates and low resolution. However, this sighting seems rather odd. The visuals are quite crisp, making it even stranger that you can see through the person. Whatever the case may be, the sighting was enough to freak viewers out on TikTok. Some people called it a ghost, a shadow figure, and even a time traveler was suggested. Unfortunately, this short clip is all we have to go by. So for now, unless further info comes to hand, this bizarre sighting will have to remain a complete mystery. Quite a while now, we've been covering the alleged haunting of Diego Spickers. For over a year, Diego's been claiming that his apartment is occupied by the spirit of a little girl, an entity that appears to have a worrying fascination with Diego's own daughter. Here's a taste of some of the latest sightings happening inside the apartment. Take a look. See me? Watching that again, we can see a hand banging the back of the open door. However, when Diego moves the door, there's nothing there. 
In this next clip, Diego has set up an experiment to try and catch some more paranormal activity on camera. Watch what happens. As you can see, finger marks seem to appear in the flower on the floor. Then, in this final clip, something even more chilling is captured. Breaking this one down, you can see a face of a young girl lingering over the shoulder of Diego's daughter. He runs to take a look, but the figure seems to vanish into thin air. Then his daughter sits eerily on the couch as if in a trance. Amy. Naturally, a lot of comments were worried for the safety of Diego's daughter, wondering why the family was still in the apartment after all that's happened. So where do you sit on this? Are we just witnessing some immaculate video editing, or is the family really haunted? Share your thoughts with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. For most people, caves can be eerie places at the best of times, and this video shared to TikTok by Scariest Posts may show why. It's dark inside the cave, and the only light present is the one coming from the OP's camera. Being in such a claustrophobic place would put a lot of people on edge already. However, in this case, there could be extra reason for alarm. Take a look and see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. As the camera holder pans around the cave, something appears to be moving. Because it's so dark, it's hard to make out exactly what it is. It almost seems to camouflage into its surroundings. The figure looks to be black or dark brown in colour or perhaps even a transparent grey. Some viewers have suggested that it looks like it's made of a thin mist. Watching it in slow motion seems to show that the figure has a large head and possibly even a human-like face. It then seems to dissolve into the darkness. What do you think this mysterious figure could be? Is it some sort of shadow person, or perhaps an unknown cave creature? Or is the lion simply playing tricks with our eyes? Watch the footage again and let me know what you see in the comment section down below. Every amateur paranormal enthusiast thinks they want to encounter something supernatural, but what happens if they actually do? During a tour of the allegedly haunted Hillview Manor in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, YouTuber SCWC and her husband may have experienced a little more than they bargained for. During the tour of the former mental institution, the Redditor claims that their husband felt uneasy, as if someone was touching his arms. There were also certain areas of the building that he refused to return to. Later, they explored with a small group. At first, nothing unusual happened and they were starting to get disappointed. Then, just as they were preparing to head to another area, one member of the group knelt to charge their phone. Take a look at what happened next. Everyone began hearing mysterious footsteps so intense that the walls around them shook. 
Security footage from the hallway shows all four of them simultaneously reacting with intense fear, even though there's no indication of what could be frightening them. The experience spooked the couple so much that they left the tour early. However, before they did, they were sure to remind the spirits that they had no permission to follow them home. Hopefully whatever spooked them so intensely listened to their plea. This next video shows another creepy encounter that takes place in a cave. It was sent to our Slaptam Facebook group by Marie Louise Montero. She says that her father, a cameraman for a TV channel in Aruba, inadvertently captured the footage while filming an interview with a man who had just stayed in the cave for 100 days in order to break a world record. According to Montero, her father didn't even notice anything strange until he reviewed the video sometime later. Take a look at what's been caught on camera. As you can see, there is a mysterious figure present in the upper level of the cave. It's only visible for a brief second as it seems to dart behind the wall in an effort to avoid the camera. The figure appears to be wearing a green top or jacket. But apart from that, there's no other distinguishable features. The poster notes that in the video, the crew is speaking their local language, Papiamento. She says that they're actually talking about how many people have died in this very cave. So what do you think this mysterious figure could be? A homeless person who lives in the cave, perhaps? Or is there a more paranormal explanation for what's been caught on camera here? Share your theories with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. Home security cameras are designed to make you feel safer in your own home. But what if they capture something that you would rather have not seen? Shortly after moving into their new place, Redditor Emily Sings 3 found that their security camera had snapped several chilling images. According to their post, they received a notification that motion had been detected inside their house at 1.32 a.m. As they were still awake, they decided to check their device. Take a look at what they saw. The Redditor says that they live alone and didn't hear any sounds at the time the photos were captured. They also said that in the days prior, they had felt a strange presence around, so they had felt uneasy. Several viewers have suggested that the camera might have actually captured evidence of a break-in. They suggested that the OP search any crawl spaces or hidden areas in the home, just to make sure that there's no one lurking. However, the poster doesn't seem to think it's an intruder. They're convinced that their house is haunted. Regardless of what the figure is, spotting something like this on your home security camera would likely terrify most people, especially if you've just moved in. So what would you do in this situation? Call the police or call a priest? Let me know in the comment section down below. Donny Drunkard is a well-known paranormal YouTuber. His channel showcases the supposed supernatural happenings that take place around his home. This clip is from a live stream that played out in real time right in front of the eyes of Donny Drunkard's audience. Near the beginning of the stream, Drunkard notes that he feels as though there's some sort of presence in the hallway. Earlier there's a shadow figure, Brad, that I, I saw. I don't know if it came through. And then now the SLS is going crazy. There's presence in the hallway. Soon after, the program on his computer picks up evidence of a humanoid shape in the darkness. Watch. Surrounds this, this whole aura. He's here. Like I said, I felt like somebody is out there in the hallway. And clearly there's...
During the live stream, several keen-eyed viewers alerted the YouTuber to some strange occurrences. One in particular, Kelly Morrison, provided a playback showing a possible paranormal entity. If you take a good look down the hallway, you can actually see a shadowy figure moving around. The blood of Jesus Christ. When the footage is brightened up, the figure's presence becomes even more apparent. So what do you think this creepy clip shows? Does it prove that Donnie Drunkard really is living in a haunted house? Love to hear your theories on this in the comment section down below. Surrounds this, this whole aura. He's here. Like I said, I felt like somebody is out there in the hallway. This last video on our list was uploaded to the YouTube channel, Hunting the Dead. In it, the investigator visits an allegedly haunted house in the middle of the day. I am here to investigate the paranormal. Now we're just gonna do a little quick walkthrough, guys, and I can tell you, as soon as I came in here, I started feeling energies. The creepy activity begins early. As he initially explores the rooms, he inadvertently captures something chilling on camera. Take a look. I really miss this. Pretty simple here. We just have a nice little paranormal potty. But we do have the mirrors and we do ask for the spirits to come through and communicate. It's quite subtle, but just as the investigator enters the bathroom, a shadowy figure can be seen in the mirror. Pretty simple here. We just have a nice little paranormal potty. Next, he takes out an EVP device in an attempt to communicate with any spirits that may be nearby. But you basically can speak to me through this. Will you do that? Shortly after he turns it on, he hears a distant door slam. Dude! The f then, as the investigator approaches the kitchen, a voice can be heard saying what sounds like it stinks. What the hell is that sound? Did you do that? Who was that? A few seconds later, another crash echoes through the house. Come on, give me a sign. Show me where you're at. Dude. What the f So he's grabbed my ankle. <gasps> no way. Shut that door, dude. He continues the exploration of the property and soon asks the alleged spirit if it can make another noise besides tapping. Okay, that was in that room. Can you can you do something other than tap? Can you can you make a scratch or something? A few seconds later, the spirit seems to oblige as a mysterious sound is heard in another room. <gasps> no way, no way, no way. The investigator runs towards the source. Then, as he enters a storage closet, he hears what he describes as a growling sound. Take a listen and let me know what you think this could be. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was just something that just like growled in here, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Finally, the investigator asks if the supposed spirit has any messages and wants to pass on. A voice seems to reply, help. Listen to me, I'm giving you a platform where a lot of people will be hearing you. Is there anybody that you didn't get to give a message to before you died?
If there truly is some sort of paranormal entity trapped in this house, it doesn't sound as though it's at peace. Hopefully the next person to enter the property is able to remain safe while spending time there. Hold on. Oh, dude, I just seen it. I just seen it. In this video, TikTok user Chase the Bass shares some security footage from inside his parents' home, showing what he believes to be a ghost. In a separate clip, he mentions that he was initially hesitant to upload the footage because he didn't think people would believe it. My parents have security cameras in their living room, and a few months ago they caught a ghost on camera. In the security footage, we can see that the lights are on. Then, just after they click off, something eerie happens. Take a look. A figure walks from one side of the room to the other. It's pale and seems to be somewhat transparent. The footage is left some wondering if the house has a tragic past. Unfortunately, the uploader doesn't elaborate. So what do you think's been captured here? Does it really show a ghost? Or is the camera somehow distorting the details of a regular person? Let me know your theories on this one in the comment section down below. In this clip, uploaded to the YouTube channel Cajadores de Sombra, the Brazilian-based ghost hunters conduct a terrifying exploration of what appears to be an abandoned town. At the beginning of the video, the team explains that this area has a tragic past. A child was supposedly playing nearby when they fell into a well. They were eventually rescued, however, sadly passed away soon after. After the boy's death, people began to report strange occurrences in the house he used to live in. Creepy things also started happening to others who lived in the area, and soon the spook locals began to move away. The team begin their investigation by entering one of the houses. Good boy, Gordy. It's run down and water leaks in from the rain that's pouring down outside. The explorers continue to move from house to house, searching the empty buildings. Then, as they look around one house in particular, they hear a sudden knocking sound, as if someone's banging on one of the walls. They begin searching for the origin of the noise, which leads them into one of the adjoining rooms. There, they shine a light on something unsettling. Take a look. There appears to be a child-sized figure watching them through one of the windows. They run out into the night, but the figure seems to have completely vanished. Could this mysterious figure really be the ghost of the young boy who fell into the well? Or was it simply a curious squatter who was keeping a cautious eye on the team as they explored the area? Unfortunately, it seems that the figure's identity will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. Our next video, uploaded to YouTube by UrbexMX, documents a possible ghost sighting that took place in a cemetery near Culiacan, the largest city in Sinaloa, Mexico. The video starts with footage of the cemetery at night time. As the team carefully weave through the tombstones, they likely have no idea what's in store for them. Less than 20 minutes in, they think they hear a faint cry in the distance. Seconds later, the cameraman spots something eerie. Oh, 
It's easy to tell the cameraman is distressed after what he saw, yet the group moves in for a closer inspection. They search the area for the figure, but it seems to have completely vanished. Soon, the team approaches a grave and discovers a creepy doll inside. In fact, you may have seen this very same doll featured in one of our previous videos. Here's the footage we showed last time when YouTuber Lalo Escalante encountered this very doll in the same grave. Take a look. After encountering the creepy doll in the Urbex MX exploration, one of the team members thinks he sees something moving up ahead. They search the darkness with their lights. Suddenly, something darts out from behind one of the graves. It moves so fast that if you blink, you might just miss it. Could it just be an ordinary shadow? Or is it something paranormal? It seems that this particular cemetery is a popular destination for ghost hunters, and if the events seen in this video are to be believed, it's with good cause. Could this overcrowded cemetery be one of the most haunted places in Mexico? This video, uploaded to YouTube by Putream, appears to show something truly bizarre. Take a look. The dash cam footage shows the rear of a white SUV. It's snowing outside and visibility's poor. At first it appears as though the SUV speeds up and the snow is actually masking the location of the vehicle. However, once the line of vision clears, the SUV is nowhere to be seen. It seems unlikely that it's sped off or even turned off suddenly. So then, where did it go? If you play the clip in slow motion, it also offers little clues as to where the mysterious vehicle actually went. Take another look and see if you can spot anything we might have missed. So what do you think? Is the snow somehow playing tricks with our eyes? Or is there another way to explain the mysterious disappearing SUV? Let me know your theories on this and share them with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. In February 2022, something truly bizarre was caught on a security camera in Xicalapan de Juarez, about 20 miles east of Mexico City. The footage was uploaded to YouTube by Mousen TV. Take a look. The camera overlooks an empty lot. Three stray dogs are spooked by an unknown floating object that hovers about the area. Here's the object through an infrared filter. It looks to be an amorphous blob that drifts through the air.
Initially, people thought the footage was edited with CGI. However, the fact that the dogs interact with the object seems to discredit this theory. Some comments speculated whether the object is alien in nature, perhaps a craft of some kind collecting data here on Earth. Of course, there's a possibility it could just be a drone or perhaps a deflated balloon, but the amorphous quality of the object casts some doubt on this theory. It's definitely a strange piece of footage, and as of yet, there's been no official word on what this object really could be. This next bizarre little clip was uploaded to Instagram by Strange Activities. The footage has been dividing the comment section on what it's actually showing. Take a look and see what you think. We can see an unknown creature clinging to a branch out the front of a house. Some commenters were calling it an undocumented cryptid, a creature that's yet to be classified by modern science. However, the majority of comments thought it had to be CGI, which most likely is the case. I have to say though, whoever made this really should be working in top tier Hollywood movies, as the animation is outstanding. Paranormal investigator Lalo Escalante is dedicated to exploring some of the most notorious locations in Mexico. Whether it's abandoned buildings, sites of urban legend or cemeteries, more often than not Lalo Escalante captures some really freaky stuff on camera. In this episode, he's exploring an old graveyard. Many locals believe the property is riddled with tormented spirits and often report sightings of shadowy figures lurking in the dead of night and objects moving seemingly all on their own. Disembodied screams are also said to be a common occurrence. It isn't long into the exploration before the OP begins hearing things in the distance. Hola. Oi, oi. Abre una reja. Moments later, as the camera holder's torch begins to flicker, he asks if there's any spirits nearby to make themselves known. That's when this happens. Si una entidad se quiere manifestar, dame una señal. ¿Alguna entidad se encuentra aquí? ¿Qué pedo? Watching that again, a nearby tap mysteriously turns itself on, scaring the cat away. ¿Alguna entidad se encuentra aquí? ¿Qué pedo? He then turns the tap off, but seconds later, it turns itself back on. Otra vez de nuevo. De nuevo se abrió. Later, the uploader explores another part of the cemetery when something eerie is caught on camera. Watch. ¿Quién está aquí? ¿Alguien es? Bien, 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 bien. Bien, cómo el tren se está moviendo. El tren se está moviendo. El tren se está moviendo. 
El tren se está moviendo, vean, vean, vean. Somehow, the toy appears to move on its own. He even checks to see if there's batteries, but there's none there. ¿Quién eres? Vean, por favor, que no estoy desenfocando esto. Se está moviendo el tren. Dios mío de mi vida. Vean. No tiene pilas, vean. After hearing numerous strange sounds, the explorer is soon confronted by a terrifying sight. Take a look. Se ve que tiene muchísimos años. ¡Eh! ¡Mira! ¡Oh, ¡Ay, se vio una mujer! ¡Se vio una mujer! Here it is again, slowed down. ¡Mira! There appears to be the figure of a woman moving to the right. ¡Mira! The OP is so freaked out, he begins to recite a prayer in Latin. Pater Noster, quis in cheris, santificetur, nomen tu adveniat, regniu tu fiat, voluntatus execute, in cielo in the terra. Before long, yet more strange activities recorded. Quiero que te presentes. Preséntate de nuevo. The candle seems to move by itself. De nuevo. The camera holder then decides to go investigate the tap once more, the place where all the eerie activity began in the first place. No, amigos. Esa llave. No se va a abrir, yo creo. Eventually, the noises and bizarre activity become too much for the explorer and the video abruptly ends. So what do you make of this eerie encounter? Could this old cemetery in Mexico really be haunted? The moving toy, the tap, the strange vanishing woman, it all certainly makes you wonder whether something supernatural is at play here. But ultimately, I'll let you be the judge. I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around. For quite some time now, TikToker Alex Calvo is haunted, has suspected his house is infested with spirits. We reported on his initial videos quite a few months ago. First was this encounter with a shadowy figure. I'm out here in my living room again, which is right by where that chair moved uh, the other night. And uh, I don't know, there's just been like scary going on around that. What was that? Oh, Oh no. Then Alex was convinced he saw the spirit of his deceased grandmother after this incident. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel, like, the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's, uh, it just seems pretty crazy to me. I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. <laughs> well now, yet more eerie activity has been captured inside Alex's home. This clip starts when he hears a strange noise coming from upstairs. Okay, I just heard a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> I know I heard something. I don't know. Let's see, I don't know. He searches his house, but can't quite find the source of the noises. No, I don't f know. 
At first, Alex didn't think too much about this encounter until he reviewed the footage. Take another look and see if you can spot anything out of place. I know I heard something. In the shadows of the slightly ajar door to his laundry room, a pale face stares out at him with eerie black eyes. Because he doesn't see the face initially, it's only on film for a moment. But that moment is all it takes to make this footage truly chilling. The TikToker stated that after seeing the face, he searched the laundry room to make sure that there was no one hiding in there, but there was no one to be found. Given that this isn't Alex's first brush with alleged paranormal activity, many viewers are inclined to believe that this is indeed a genuine haunting. You might have seen this clip already floating around the internet as it quickly went viral. It caused thousands of viewers to speculate on what it is they're actually seeing. The video uploaded by TikToker Wonder Woman 1 seems to show something truly bizarre. Take a look. Okay, so the noise is my turtle. And I'm home alone, right? But... Reflection shows like that's me. She starts out by panning the camera around the room, showing us that the room is empty of all people except for her. Most importantly, we see that she's the only one sitting on the couch. However, when she turns the camera towards the television across from the couch, things take a strange turn. When we see the TV screen, there seems to be two people reflected there, not just one. The reflection shows... Like that's me. The TikToker waves, proving to us that this truly is a reflection and not a static image placed on the screen. Like that's me. Because of the dark colour of the screen, we can only see their outlines, but it seems clear that the second reflection is indeed a person, and not some inanimate object resting on the couch. Like, that's me. If the TikToker is alone in the room, then how is there a second reflection on the screen? According to some paranormal experts, reflective surfaces can serve as gateways to the afterlife allowing us to see through them into the spiritual realm. Mirrors, for example, are thought to be more common portals, but it's possible that other reflective surfaces could serve the same purpose. So what do you think? Could this TikToker's TV really be a gateway to the afterlife, or is it all just a well-timed hoax? Let me know where you sit on this in the comment section down below. The reflection shows That's me. According to the description of this next video, YouTuber Vault of Fear seems to believe that his house is haunted by a poltergeist. When the footage begins, we see the YouTuber running into what appears to be a child's bedroom. Clearly, they've heard a noise coming from the room and have grabbed their camera to investigate. We can quickly see why they're concerned as the camera captures some eerie activity. They continue filming the room for a while longer. During that time, a flurry of transparent white orbs flit across the screen. Orbs. 
orbs are a common way for spirits to manifest according to some paranormal experts, but it's rare to see so many at one time. According to the YouTuber, this isn't the first time that paranormal activity has happened in their house. Some people have apparently spotted an apparition that looked like a person's torso. There's also been intense poltergeist activity and demonic growling. The homeowners even attempted to have the entity expelled from the house using an exorcist, who claimed it was one of the strongest demonic presences they had ever felt. So what then is going on in this child's bedroom? Is it a demon, a poltergeist? If this was your home, would you let your child continue sleeping in this room? Let us know down below. Exploring creepy abandoned places is a specialty of Korean YouTuber D-Doc Michael. In this video, he heads to Japan to investigate a building that at first looks relatively modern, but turns out to be extremely run down. As he explores the building, he calls out to any resident paranormal entities. Shockingly, it seems he receives an answer in the form of an eerie knocking sound. Not long after, as he's looking around what appears to be an old kitchen, he becomes distracted by a noise. <laughs> then, as he turns, he notices that an object that had been resting against the wall moments earlier has now mysteriously vanished. Seconds later, he gasps while pointing the camera towards a dark window high on the wall. From the fear in his voice, it's clear that he can see something terrifying watching him. <laughs> Clearly spooked, the investigator decides to keep exploring the building. However, it all becomes too much when he hears what sounds like footsteps emanating from the darkness. then hurriedly makes his way out of the building. It's now raining outside, yet the explorer continues to shine his flashlight into several of the building's windows. It's now that he finally catches a better look at the figure that was seemingly scaring him inside the building. Take a look. Some viewers have speculated that the explorer has captured some sort of creepy face staring back at him through the window. Others think it's actually something crawling across the floor. Take another look at the footage and let me know what you think this could be. Whatever this eerie footage shows, one thing's for sure, it's unlikely this YouTuber will return to this place anytime soon. Are aliens visiting our planet? 
It seems that more and more UFO footage surfaces every day. This clip was uploaded to the TikTok account UFO Videos. Take a look and see what you think it shows. Anybody tell me what that is? We're in the middle of the ocean. On a ferry. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land, no nothing. Above the twilight horizon, we see a group of small white or yellow lights hovering in the sky. They don't move at all throughout the footage, remaining closely grouped together. According to the man behind the camera, this mysterious footage was captured from a ferry in the middle of the ocean. As he records, he pans the camera around, showing us that there's no land or any other boats anywhere to be seen. We're in the middle of the ocean. On a ferry. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land, no nothing. Commercial aircraft wouldn't fly in such a close formation, and it would be unlikely to see such a large group of helicopters flying together in the middle of the ocean. So what then could these objects be? Some viewers have suggested weather balloons or drones, but why would so many weather balloons be grouped together so closely? We're in the middle of the ocean. It also seems unlikely to be drones as the footage appears to have been captured far out at sea. Who then could possibly be controlling them? This has led many viewers to speculate that these strange objects could actually be piloted by aliens. This next video is certainly creepy. It was posted to the YouTube channel Santiago Sanchez SRS, a channel known for posting inspection style videos of houses that are up for sale. However, this particular house is a little different. This one is believed to be haunted. In the video's description, the YouTuber notes that the former owners abandoned the house at 2 a.m., claiming it was haunted by demons. One of the first things that he finds upon entering the house is a sink full of insects. This is certainly unnerving, but not necessarily a sign that something paranormal is afoot. Shortly after, he walks into a room that's completely empty, save for a few miscellaneous objects, including a single chair. He looks around, then moves on to what is likely a bedroom where he finds a child's bike and a pile of clothes hangers on the floor. Surely this is evidence that the owners did indeed leave in a hurry. While the exploration is certainly eerie up until this point, it isn't until the YouTuber returns to the room with the single chair that we finally catch a glimpse of the reason why the family probably left. Watch. The chair suddenly begins rocking back and forth, seemingly all on its own. Clearly, the YouTuber seems spooked as he quickly exits the house. While the YouTuber only spends a few minutes in the house, it's more than enough to send him running for the hills. Unfortunately, it seems we may never learn the true extent of what the former owners experienced that really caused them to leave the property in the middle of the night.
If you've ever come home to an empty house and thought it felt a little bit creepy, then perhaps you shouldn't watch this next video. Uploaded to YouTube by Carrero Mask Channel, the clip shows a man as he returns home to his fifth floor apartment. The place is dark, but when he turns on the entrance light, he's immediately startled. There appears to be a hand resting on the arm of his sofa. At first, it looks as though the hand belongs to someone that's hiding on the other side. However, when the camera begins to pan out, the hand mysteriously vanishes. The YouTuber eventually enters his apartment and begins to look around, yet he's unable to find anyone. The clip is certainly a head scratcher. If the hand did belong to a person, then where did they go? It would be almost impossible for someone to escape from a fifth floor window and even harder to do so without being seen. There's also the fact that the hand suddenly disappears. It doesn't just slink back over the sofa as you'd expect if it belonged to someone. It just seems to disappear into thin air. Another chilling aspect to this video is that the YouTuber usually posts normal content about his day. He's not known for posting paranormal clips. So what do you think this footage shows then? Did the hand belong to a human intruder? Or is there something supernatural at play here? Watch the clip again and judge for yourself. For many, Christmas time is the happiest time of the year. Imagine then if you glanced outside only to realize you were being watched by a Sasquatch. According to YouTuber North by Wild West, that's exactly what happened. Captured somewhere in northern Minnesota, the video begins as the camera holder films their family's Christmas celebrations. As she pans past the Christmas tree, she notices something slinking into the woods out of a nearby window. Merry Christmas! Got a tree. What was that? Oh my god. At first, the figure's hard to see, just a dark shape against the trees. Everyone heads outside to get a better look at the creature. Now, its size and shape become more apparent. It's tall and appears to be covered with dark hair. Oh my god. No way. That can't be. What the? The creature also walks upright, unlike a bear. It clearly isn't a trick of the eye as the family dog notices its presence and soon takes off after it. Oh. Uh oh, here goes oh no. Both the dog and the creature disappear into the woods. However, the creature reappears a few minutes later. This time, it's much more clear. Oh my god. It moves through the trees, eventually disappearing from sight. Frightened, the camera holder then ushers the rest of the onlookers back into the house. We better get back inside, guys. Yeah. So could this video really show the elusive cryptid affectionately known as Bigfoot? Many photos and videos claim to provide evidence of the mysterious creature, yet to date, no one's been able to definitively prove that it really exists.
This next puzzling clip was uploaded to TikTok by user DelegatiArt. It shows what many are calling a glitch in the matrix. Take a look. The lights are on. But the lights are not on. The TikToker shows that the light in his living room is off, yet in the reflection on a glass frame on the wall, the light appears to be on. But when I'm looking at it, I can see the light bulb on. At one point, he shows both the lights and the reflection in the one shot, and you can see there's a difference between the two. Hang on. See it? You can still see it. Still see it. Lights are off. You can still see it. I'm like crouched down to show you. That's a glitch in the matrix, my friends. This bizarre clip has since gone viral, racking up thousands of views with hundreds of comments trying to debunk what's actually going on. Some people think perhaps it's all a trick of perspective and that the reflection is actually showing a different light just in a room down the hallway. However, others aren't convinced, saying that the angles aren't right for that to be the answer. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Where do you sit on this? Is it all an illusion, a trick of perspective, or is there another way to explain this bizarre situation? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's a real glitch in the Matrix Live. I'm moving closer to my front window where the sunlight would supposedly come in. But there's no sunlight coming in and hitting that light, right? So I'm holding my phone. I'm just going to walk closer and closer. And as we walk closer, look at the reflection. This curious snippet of footage has been doing the social media rounds lately. It purports to show a time traveller at an Elvis concert in the early 1970s. Take a look. As you can see, there appears to be someone in the crowd holding what looks like a modern smartphone. They're pointing it right at the stage as though filming the event. Obviously tech like this didn't exist in the early 1970s. Some people thought it looked like the Kodak 110 camera, a slim cartridge-based device released in 1972. While this could be a possibility, it looks like the person is filming continuously in portrait mode up and down. The Kodak camera takes still images and needs to be held horizontally. Another suggestion is that it's a cigarette case and that the person just happens to be holding it up while being jostled by the crowd. Others noted that an Elvis concert would certainly be a worthy event to time travel to. So what are we actually looking at here then? An old Kodak camera, a cigarette holder, or a genuine case of time travel? Take another look at the footage and decide for yourself. This set of photos was submitted to us on our subreddit by BRXMum. In 2017, the OP and her family all got together for the passing of their great-grandpa. They took a series of photos at the cemetery as a keepsake for the day. Although somber, everything seemed perfectly fine. That is until the family reviewed the photos they had taken that day. If you take a close look, there appears to be an extra hand. It looks like dull grey fingers. Some viewers suggested it might be the woman in Green's hand. However, the OP remembers that she had her hand on her back at the time. Plus, the fingers are a dull grey colour and don't match the tone of any of the people present. Given that the photo was taken at the cemetery, even the mere suggestion of grey reaching fingers appearing out of nowhere is unsettling.
Sticking with backyard sightings, here's another one from our subreddit submitted by Para Watt. The OP said that they had a cat for 15 years who recently passed away, so when they saw this footage they couldn't help but wonder whether something mysterious was afoot. Take a look. As you can see, a faint, almost transparent cat runs by. It crosses the yard, then seems to turn into an orb or ball of light and flies off. The OP clarified that a stray cat does sometimes pass through the yard on occasion, but when it does and it's caught on camera, it looks more solid with much more definition than what's been spotted here. They couldn't help but wonder whether this was their dear pet that had recently passed on. Whether this is the spirit of their cat or not remains to be seen, but the fact that this sighting has brought some comfort to the uploader is surely all that matters. Sol Mori is an artist and TikToker that lives in an old giant mansion in the UK that looks like something straight out of a horror movie. They claim it's haunted as bizarre, unexplainable things happen almost every day. The house is a sprawling manor built in 1902. The OP and her family only recently moved in and are just getting used to the house's eccentricities. Here's a clip explaining some of the odd details about the house. Weird things in my creepy haunted house. Plants that only stay alive in this specific room. Mummified frog and animal bones. The cellar windows. Poison bottles. Loads of chandeliers. We have to chain them up otherwise they shake. Lots of hammers. Animal bones that appear every morning. Faces in the garden. Overgrown tennis court. Bottles of blue liquid. Clocks in every room. Piano that plays on its own. Unsteady balconies. So many staircases. Paintings of the dead. Abandoned puppet theater. Gilbert lives here, he's not very nice. I feel weird here. In the attic is an old abandoned puppet theatre with a giant sun mural painted on one of the walls. The name Gilbert is etched on the top left. Shortly after moving in, the family began to suspect something strange was happening with the sun painting. They felt like a dark energy was attached to it, giving the whole room an off vibe. Before long, the OP overheard her niece talking to someone in the attic. When she asked who she was talking to, she replied, Gilbert. Here's a little chat they had with their niece. Did you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Man. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it, is Gilbert friendly? Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because they don't pray. Not long after, they discovered a Ouija board hidden under one of the floorboards in the attic. It had a sun on it that closely resembled the Gilbert painting. The OP claims that she started having dreams about a little boy. Being an artist, she was able to paint the visions she was seeing in her dreams. Shortly after, the niece discovered a small doll hidden behind the Gilbert painting. It closely resembles the boy that was visiting the OP in her dreams. Wanting to learn more about the house and its history, Sol Mori investigated the census records for the property. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. This would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. And looking at the English census records, I found that the father would be called John, the mother was called Maud, next to on the balcony is a daughter Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911, so he would be about five or six in this photo. 
I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo, what they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Here we can see a photo from 1916 showing one of the first families to live in the house. As you can see, there's a little boy in the attic staring out of the window. The TikToker suspects that this is Gilbert. For some reason, he seems to have been ostracised from the family. Creepier still, this window is the exact room where the Gilbert painting now sits. As the OP and her family started settling into the house, they began to find old dolls all over the property. Dozens and dozens of them hidden in the garden, in the attic, behind walls and under floorboards. Over time, Sol Mori amassed a collection of dolls that she found around the house and on the grounds of the property. Over the course of several months, the dolls began exhibiting some strange behaviour. Take a look. Hello Maud, I am asking for clarification as to if there is a spirit attached to your doll. If so, could you please give me some sort of sign, please? another example here. One of my new dolls just moved right in front of me when I was talking so I want to see if I can get it on camera. Hello. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I just got that on camera. Wow. As you can see, the dolls seem to move all on their own. Sol Mori believes that each doll is trying to communicate with her and that they all have their own unique story to tell. What we've covered here is just a small part of the overall story that Sol Mori has to tell. We haven't even touched on the eerie doll she found in a crawl space behind the Gilbert painting. We may need to do a part two on this story just to do it justice. In the meantime, I highly recommend you go check out Sol Mori's page for yourself. It's a fascinating story and I highly recommend you start from the very beginning to take it all in. As always, there's links in the description box down below. So if you love this massive compilation, then why not check out our other ones here? Or there's a giant playlist here that you can binge on for hours. Leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the weirdest or scariest. We love getting your feedback. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. Peace!